Brian Ierson. I'm one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create color themes in Visio. So to begin, as you can see, I have a Visio drawing up and running. This is just a basic network diagram template, and it is using the default colors. Now to recolor this, we can go to the design tab in our ribbon. And you can see you have themes. And you can also see that themes can contain variants. So these are varying color schemes that you have a possibility or have the possibility of using. In the variants group, we're going to click the drop down button for more within the gallery and access colors. From here, you could change to a different color theme. So I could say, you know, I would like to use gemstone. And you can see now these colors for all the objects have changed quite dramatically. And we still have variants within this that we can take advantage of. We want to set this up so that we can use our corporate colors so that we can always remain on brand. So I'm going to use that drop down button again for more. I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to scroll right to the very bottom where you can see the option create new color theme. Giving this a tap will open up the new color theme window where we can give our theme a name and I'm just going to start with naming this TCW. And I'm going to start changing my accent colors. I'm generally not going to change my dark and my light and my background colors. I'm going to leave those because there are things that I use commonly. Right? Think of text. Think of text inside of a shape. And think of the background of your shapes. So I want to keep these in place. So now I'm going to start by adjusting the first accent. So I'm going to click the color picker drop down. And you can see that you are using those theme colors that were chosen before. But we're moving all the way down and we're going to choose more colors. Now I can either type in the exact RGB or hexadecimal value for my corporate color. And once I've typed in my value, I can tap the OK button and I've now got my first corporate color in place. I'm going to go to my second accent. I'm going to add another custom color. So now I have my two colors in place and I'm going to make variations of those by again continuing to use the next accent and I'm going to use the recent color. So I'll start with my recent blue. And I know it doesn't really make sense, but when we come back and we go into our more colors now, it is using the correct color. And we can now use this little tint and shade slider so I can make light variations to that color or darker variations. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and make these lighter. And then I'm going to do the same thing for accent four. I'm going to start by adding or assigning my recent color back to that color picker drop down or colors and I will make another variant. Then I will start with my greens and I will use my accent five as my default green. More colors and in this case I'm going to make these a little darker. So in a few moments time, you can see I've now created my color scheme or my color theme that is based on my brand colors and I can tap OK. Now this drawing is going to be using my brand colors to help reinforce my corporate identity. And I don't have to try and remember what colors I need. 
In fact, if I were to go ahead and select some text and go to my home tab in the ribbon and use my font color picker here, you can see that the theme that we just created is now what is being used within the application. So I will always be able to stay on brand with ease. I hope that you liked today's tutorial, and if you did, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can also find the Computer Workshop on social media, and you can find us at tcworkshop.com and learn more about our company and upcoming classes we are offering. Until next time, take care for now.